Hey lovely people, uh, thank you for joining me again. We're going to do another group SRT clearing and this time it's on space clearing, clearing the space and where you live, uh, clearing the environment uh, in where you live. Um, uh, I've never done a group space clearing before but no reason why it shouldn't work so let's do it. So your teams will clear exactly what needs to be cleared within your immediate environment. Uh, these these clearings that I do, the group clearings, can be incredibly powerful, uh, but there's nothing quite like an individual individual clearing. So do check out my website and all the details down below to contact me and um, also see what else I do. I do coaching, healing therapy packages as well, and I also have some courses on Udemy as well. So uh, if you're ready, let's uh, let's get stuck in and set your intention for what you want to receive. I'll show you my chart, so I'm having to look at me. Um, set your intention to receive the benefits of this clearing and um, let's do this so let's just move that over there my sorry my wire is getting in the way there that's it so uh, where's it sitting at zero percent positive 100 negative as I'd expect for a group clearing and what level of consciousness is it at looks to be Christ status so let's get the teams uh, your high self teams to do a clearing on your immediate environment, your home, where it is that you are, um, your home environment, your space environment, wherever it is that you spend most of your time. Set your intention for which space you want to be cleared. Is it your home? Is it your business? Is it your shed? Is it your garage? Um, is it your garden? Is it your car? Um, set the intention for which space you want cleared right now. And we'll see what the teams can do as they move it from Christ status all the way up to Radiant Love New Paradigm level. And uh, raising it up to 100 positive down to zero negative, clearing away any blockages. Not that there ever are any blockages in energy, it's just that they get all sort of stifled together. Which appears as a blockage, we call it a blockage, but it's, strictly speaking, it isn't. And... Um, Clearing away any programs, any illusions, any unexpressed experiences and emotions there. Clearing away for your highest good. For the highest good of the space that you want clearing. My apologies, it's taken so long to get to this one. I know, uh, Helen, you requested space clearing a couple of months ago, so my apologies for taking so long. Um, I've got a whole list to work through today, so I'm really excited to be doing this for you. And I hope you're all keeping well. And I'm glad these are helping. Uh, I'm getting great feedback and I'm getting great suggestions from you. So thank you so much. Um, I love doing these for you. I love hearing the positive feedback. Uh, I love that they're making a difference, that they're shifting things. And uh, this is what this channel is always all about. It's to serve you. I keep promising to get some hypnotherapy up as well, and um, I'm going to do that as well uh, as soon as I can. I'll, again, I'll start with the bigger stuff, the most popular stuff uh, that needs to go up, and then um, yeah, let's make this let's make this an empowering channel. Um, it's always been my intention to do that, so it's still clearing away here. Right, here we go. So, down. so where are we going for the space clearing first? Chart five, as I'd expect, really. Chart five is blocks and interference, negative motivations. It's where we get the things like the entities. So, so we've got discarnates in the aura, imprint of brain damage. That's a strongly held belief, most likely from another lifetime. Satanic forces, demonic forces. I'm not going to ask how many or how many levels of consciousness because it's a group clearing. Anything else? Any negative motivations? Any portals that need clearing there? Anything under other, anything hidden, buried, cursed, lied about, avoided, anything the soul is unaware of, any spells that need clearing that fall into that category of any kind. No, so let's clear those, please. All those discarnates in the aura and all the imprints of brain damage, satanic forces and demonic forces. Now, I know they sound very biblical in terms, but I always like to just think of them in terms of uh, density. So when we're talking about forces, we're talking about groups groups of that dense energy so don't get um carried away on the horror film uh idea of these of course you know there is evil in the world and and um you know 
uh, there are unpleasant things about but it doesn't mean to say that um, a lot of people aren't even aware what's in their space energetically so they just feel lighter when it's cleared out so it's always good to have um, two or three uh, bespoke cleanses on your home to clear away the levels of uh, density some require more um, it's amazing what comes up level by level layer by layer it's, it's really is it's, it is amazing what's been in the land especially if there's a lot of history on the land as well i love doing space clearings i absolutely love doing space clearings um because you know these energies these programs they all they cling onto the fabric of the building into the foundations the walls um if it's in the land it's underneath you know wherever the whatever wherever the space is get your words out caroline goodness me um so uh yeah i just love doing them so here we go satanic forces uh this is a group of discarnate souls who carry the discordant energy of a satanic and who have banded together in the etheric realm a person who has satanics attached to them can be negatively affected by the energy they carry. So, um, and satanic discarnate is a soul who, while in the physical body, was involved with the negative energies uh, on chart 6A, which is where master programs are. I often go to here, as you, if you're a regular on this site, uh, lots of discordant energy here. Um, some of the energies would have been hate of men hate of women hate of god hate of self hate of life helplessness all of that so um that's how a satanic discarnate um uh, satan is the adversary anything that is adverse to that which is spiritual or good any person who expresses the primary energies again on chart 6a which is the master programs and discordant energy could be called satanic so there was no individual soul created as satan uh, rather people express satanic or destructive energies so i hope that puts your mind at rest if your imagination is running wild there it's all about negative energies negative energies destructive energies that's what this is all about it's just it has very biblical terms and then of course you know lots of films and horror movies and and books have blown it all out to become something that our imagination has uh, run away with there so they're not they're not constructive energies they're very dense they're very heavy uh, energies uh, the same with demonic forces this is coming to a close now so it's clearing quite a lot there so you should find your space is beginning to lighten up but let me just explain the demonic forces in here as well uh, from this the perspective of the srt um, system so demonics uh, are souls that have left the physical body but have become earthbound they carry worse energy than satanics and many have been and may have been murderers rapists drug traffickers etc that kind of thing so if you keep picking them up check for programs or low energies and clear them also a person who is into ego can pick them up demonics can come through openings from other dimensions and again like forces demonic forces would be groups groups of uh, uh, souls like that so uh, so it's great to get those cleared out and it should really lighten the energy for you so where are we going next 6b which is blocks to positive expression inside left we got blocks to giving freedom outside left blocks to worthiness inside left Blocks to enthusiasm. Let's just clear all of those across all time, space, and dimension, elevation, seeds, roots, branches, everything, everywhere. Okay, that was a quick clearing there. We're next. Chart 12. Chart 12 is spirit energy programming. Codependency of spirit on God. Dysfunction of creative energy by emotions. Dysfunction of spirit by error consciousness. Pre-programmed spirit by God. Myism of spirit. And let's just clear all of those at Queen of Life level. So again, I'm not going into any detail with these because it's a group clearing. So I'm not asking any specific questions. I'm just asking your teams to clear those away from the space that is being cleared for your highest good.
Did you know that uh, on this planet, uh, Spirit says it has 74 vibratory dimensions? Uh, this is according to the SRT. It may have changed since. Our dimension is one of 33 that have human life forms. We have been working with this concept through SRT from the beginning and now quantum physicists are proposing the same concept. Interesting. Um, there may be more vibratory dimension. I think, I think I've heard of 144 dimensions and, and who knows, there's probably more opening out as well since. So this is just what's in the books um, from when they were first downloaded. Okay, so... As with everything, everything evolves and, and um, we're going through so much expansion of consciousness and awareness that things are changing all the time as spirit is learning and expanding all the time. So, Still clearing away that's better okay lovely right where are we going next then we are going to chart 14 which is pre-fall of consciousness and creating the illusion there what's coming up there animal consciousness programs the etheric body being out of balance conscious mind programs type one we're just going to ask the teams to clear those you don't have to understand all of this to uh, receive the healing you just have to be open to receiving it for your highest good always set it for your highest good Okay, and we're next. Well, we're going straight to chart 27, learning is fun. Experience is the process. We've got some learning blocks at spirit level there. Oneness with God, spirit is the goal. There's learning blocks at spirit level there as well. And again, we're not going into any great detail. I'm just doing a very surface level clearing there. If you want a space clearing, I do packages of a minimum of three clearings and uh, uh, brain spiritual restructuring in my package which uh, really does clear some brilliant um, brilliant stuff uh, from the soul and even when we're clearing inanimate objects or you know uh, buildings offices homes cars um, all sorts of things we treat them as if they are a living soul and uh, go through the whole process as a living soul. It's amazing, amazing uh, what a difference it can make. Right, nothing there. I'm going to go to a property chart, which I have as well, to see if there's anything. I've got lots of different charts, loads of them. So anything coming up on the property chart? We have negative entities. So some of you have negative entities in your space. How many digits, single digits? again there anything other than negative entities no can we just get those cleared yep so let's clear all negative entities clearing all negative entities please from the spaces here across all time space and dimension let's 12 times 8 the spaces afterwards 12 times 8 is a numeric code to provide a shield if you want to protect yourself uh, using numeric code as well it's, it's like a shortcut then say nine times nine. That also gives you that protection as well. Nine times nine. Okay, anything else in there? Anything else? Hidden, buried, cursed, lied about, void. You the soul is unaware of, no. Is there any anything else? Any residue? Any other business? Anything to clear at all? No. Should we go to mop up for the group? So we're just going to go to mop up for the group now. Mop up for the group. This is what we'd normally go through for the mop up. There's a load of questions. I'd also come up with an affirmation as well. But normally in a private clearing as well, I go through the energy bodies. I'd ask a lot more questions. I'd look at the first conscious mind of spirit. I'd look at any sticky issues, any spiritual committee changes. I'd ask lots of other questions as well to see if anything else needed clearing. Check there was any residue, shadow seeds still remaining. Uh, asking various different percentages as well. So... 
Um, so the more in depth um, the uh, individual clearings rather than the group clearing. But, you know, these group clearings have been incredibly, incredibly uh, beneficial to, to many people. So this one won't take too long to do. That's good. Oh, coming to the end of that. Okay. Is the mop up successful? Will it hold? Will the people notice a positive difference? Um, is there anything else to be done at this time? No, is the soul free? Yeah. So we'll be looking at now 100 positive, zero negative. Okay. Okay, lovely. So we're at really lovely paradigm level. So um, if you have any questions, pop them down below. Um, go to my website if you're interested in uh, space clearing that's more bespoke to your space. And um, I only do them in packages now, I'm afraid. Uh, you get a much better result when you've got sort of three clearings in a row. Uh, going on and the brain spiritual restructuring as well uh, as a much much bigger clearing so um, I hope it helps lots of love to you all bye